I want to extend a big congratulations to the Kansas City Chiefs on their third Super Bowl win in just five seasons. And also congratulations to all the Swifties out there. The Swifties, as in fans of Taylor Swift and boyfriend Travis Kelsey. The White House Super Bowl shout out was another troll of MAGA world on top of this. From Joe Biden, Dirk Brandon, just like we drew it up. So for people that don't get this, and which the first, it was the first thousand or so after he put it up, they're like, what's this? This is, this is uh, uh, of course, like mocking that. all the MAGA, uh, uh, ultra MAGA freaks that were saying that this was all rigged uh, from the very beginning. And th this is him mocking the snowflakes. And in MAGA world, there are a lot of them. They hate that Travis Kelsey supports the COVID vaccine and that Taylor Swift in 2020 endorsed President Biden. The unhinged conspiracy theories have been endless. The Pentagon PSYOP unit pitched NATO on turning Taylor Swift into an asset. Yesterday, she flew private from New York City to Baltimore. Yet she constantly talks about climate change. So just please don't believe everything Taylor Swift says. We're all begging you. Don't get involved. Don't get involved in politics. We don't want to see you there. Some conservatives, including Vivek Ramaswamy, said the Super Bowl would be rigged to help Swift, Kelsey, and Biden. Other conservatives predicted a Taylor Swift backlash. You waited on the Taylor Mania a few weeks ago when you said she was partially responsible for the Kansas City Chiefs losing a couple of games. Do you stand by that comment? I hope that she's the Yoko Ono of the Kansas City Chiefs and she destroys their dynasty and puts them down in flames. That's why I am proudly supporting the San Francisco 49ers, America's team, on Sunday against All Kansas right. City, Patrick Mahomes, Taylor Swift, you, and Travis Kelsey. You got Go that, you got Niners. Oh. Well, the Niners lost, the Chiefs won, and Kelsey, after hugging his mother, gave Taylor Swift a huge post-game embrace and kiss. In that moment of joy for Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift, you could literally feel in the political world the despair of countless MAGA maniacs. They were rooting so hard against the Kansas City Chiefs, the MAGA lunatics were cheering on the team from San Francisco. San Francisco, Nancy Pelosi's hometown. Anyway, here was the reaction from the often cynical Howard Stern. I found myself again rooting for Kansas City. I like the whole Taylor Swift with the Travis Kelsey drama. You know, I have to say that I'm now buying that Taylor Swift is madly in love with him. Oh. They had a makeout session after the game on camera. Right now, the adrenaline rush is ridiculous. First of all, <laughs> the prime minister of Japan was like issuing a, a Taylor Swift will make it back from Japan to get to yeah. the Super Bowl. The adrenaline rush of this relationship has got to be so, I mean, he's at the Super Bowl. She's on TV with him. She's rushing from the concert. The amount of attention is just mind-blowing. And even there that, there were in alerts on my phone. She's boarded the plane. The right. plane is over. <laughs> I was well, like, this is the most important trip ever taken. I like watching it. I like watching it, too, in part because of something known as schadenfreude. It's a German word that means finding joy in the misery of others. And in the misery of MAGA, I've been feeling schadenfreude. And because of the NFL season and Super Bowl, the MAGA world has been miserable. Instead of just shutting up and watching the games, countless lunatics on the right had to make NFL football part of the political divide. Well, count me among those who are happy to see the Kansas City Chiefs win. Not because I care about the Chiefs, I really don't, but because I knew their victory would infuriate the MAGA maniacs. And by the way, maybe somebody should do a welfare check on conservative broadcaster Megyn Kelly. She has been on a rampage against Taylor Swift for months. And she owes Israelis and Jewish Americans an apology. That is Megyn Kelly, who is neither Jewish American or Israeli, attacking Taylor Swift and calling for a boycott. And I hope they boycott her events until she issues it. Kelly, who is proving yet again to be an idiot with strong broadcast skills, is demanding an apology from Swift because the singer attended a comedy show that provided humanitarian relief to the people of Gaza. Attending this thing was wrong. It was wrong. Do some Googling. See what they do in Gaza to gays. See about women's rights in Gaza, Taylor. Otherwise, do this when it comes to talking about those issues again. 
Yes, Megyn Kelly attacked Taylor Swift for attending a comedy show in New York, and the organization behind the show is non-political and does not allow any money to go to Hamas. But maybe Megyn Kelly was projecting there when she demanded other people do some Googling. Anyway, back to Taylor Swift. Just over a month before the Super Bowl, Swift was named Time Magazine's Person of the Year. And for good reason, not only is Swift the most popular celebrity on the planet, her concert tour has been the most successful in music history. And Swift has used her profile to stand up for women's rights and encourage younger people to register to vote. The MAGA maniacs deserve to be miserable. By the way, Donald Trump is now getting bashed in the United States and Europe for encouraging Russia to attack NATO countries. This is, you can tell he's losing it. Like, he's losing his touch. Well, sir, uh, if we don't pay and we're attacked by Russia, will you protect us? I said, you didn't pay, you're delinquent. He said, yes, let's say that happened. No, I would not protect you. In fact, I would encourage them to do whatever the hell they want. You gotta pay. You gotta pay your bills. Mm, check out that video at the link below. It generated a lot of comments on YouTube, including this popular one from Alec Jason. Trump is the last person who should be talking about paying bills. He never pays his bills, always tries to get out of paying. Trump does have a record of leaving bills unpaid. Just ask Rudy Giuliani. Anyway, I look forward to reading your comments about the Biden White House trolling MAGA world over the Super Bowl. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.